Hi, I'm Dan with Family White TV, and I ran out of storage on my home theater computer. So, I bought a new hard drive. Well, okay, actually, I've already taken it out of the box here. It's uh, this one right here, but this is an 8 terabyte hard drive. Uh, it's an external hard drive, but I want to put it inside my computer. So, why, Dan from Family White TV, did you buy an external hard drive so you can put it inside your computer? Well, because this 8 terabyte hard drive is only $140 on Amazon right now, and it's the cheapest hard drive. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest the hard drive from this case and put it inside my home theater computer. Now, this is something I've done before with identical hard drives, such as this one. And I've taken it apart just so I kind of know how to do this one. But you can take these hard drives out and use them internally. Now, there are a few caveats with that. First, this case has an encryption chip inside it. Now, it's no big deal. All you have to do is take your hard drive out of it, put it inside your computer, repartition it, format it, and it's good. But the important thing to remember is do not put any data on this before you put it in your computer. Now, you can, but you're going to lose it. So if you have one of these and you want to make it internal and there's already data on it, you're going to want to put that data somewhere else before you put it inside your computer because once you put it inside your computer all that data is going to be lost but if you're starting out with a hard drive with nothing on it like i am then it's no big deal but if you have data on it copy it over to something else before you take it out and put it on your computer so let's get started now from what it looked like from this case there are a couple tabs once you get the tabs loose it slides right out there's a tab here and here and here and here and i kind of broke them to get them out we'll see if i can avoid doing that not that i plan to reuse this case okay so let's go ahead here and gently start prying around oh and the other the other thing to remember Another thing to remember is that if you do this, of course, you're voiding the warranty on the hard drive. So this is a brand new hard drive. And if this doesn't work, then I'm at $140. So I'm basically betting $140 that this is going to work. And I'm pretty sure it will. So let's go ahead and get it apart here. See if I can do it with minimal damage to the case. Yeah, let's just take this stupid plastic off. There we go. Oh, there we go. Maybe if I get under there, there we go. It's kind of coming up a bit. You can see how it's kind of coming back there like that. So let's gently do it up here. Sounds like I got that part off now. Gently flip it over. We'll do the same to the other side here. Hearing it click free here, I might actually have it free at this point. There it goes. All right, so what's behind it? There it goes. And it is a, well, it's a hard drive. What is it? All right, oh, some sort of white label. It's a Western Digital 8 terabyte, of course because it's a Western Digital Drive. But it looks like nothing particularly special. And here's all the leading particulars right here about what it says inside there. So it is a serial ATA, has 256 megabytes of cache, etc., etc. And I'm guessing this is a 5400 RPM. Well, I'll have to decode this, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be a 5400 RPM. But this is for movie storage, so I, this isn't, I'm not looking for blazing fast storage, just something to put movies on. All right, so now there is a screw right here, so we'll go ahead and take that off. And now basically there are these four rubber stoppers here that are keeping it in. But I should just be able to coax it out of here. Oh, there we go. And this little fiber thing. No, ah, it's off. All right, so there we are. There's the raw hard drive. We'll just take this screw off now. And 
done. And I'll just pull this on this gently. Oh yeah, because this is plugged in here. So you don't want to just rip it off like that. That'd be stupid. So we're just going to slip it off the, whoops, so we're just going to slip it off the back here. And there's our actual connectors for the hard drive. Just a standard serial ATA connection. Now, just in case you're curious, I have tried putting an older hard drive into one of these, but uh, I didn't have any luck getting it to work. It seems like uh, whatever's encoded onto this board is expecting to see whatever hard drive originally came with this. So I haven't actually been able to get the case to work with any other hard drive other than what came with it. Okay, so let's see if it worked. And what do we got? All right, there's a three, there's a two, there's a two, there's a C drive, there's external, there's a disk drive, and there's, all right, so, uh-oh, where is it? So it's not working initially. Now, what I found here is that uh, I did a search on the model number on Reddit, and thanks to user alex 4 niche right here, the solution is to cut or rather cover up this uh, power connection, which is the power disable. Now going over to this uh, document right here shows us that this third pin is power disable. These uh, first two aren't used. So basically what uh, one user recommended on here was just to go ahead and cover up the three pins nearest the uh, key on the power connector here. So basically that's what I'm going to do. All right, so Western Digital is getting sneaky here. What they've done is they've used a quote unquote feature called power disable, which is done via this third pin right here. According to the sheets, I saw these first two should be not connected and this is the power disable pin. So I'm gonna use some electrical tape to cover this one up. And we have success. It is now detecting in BIOS. And we have, here it is, there is our nice big eight terabyte hard drive. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, repartition this into one big drive, might as well. Was it going to be theater three? And there we go. So there's our nice big drive all ready to go. Just had to do a little bit of a uh, hack there. But there it is. Eight wonderful terabytes or 7.27 if you count it a different way. But there it is. So there you have it, converting a Western Digital Elements external hard drive into an internal hard drive. Got a little bit scary there, but uh, figured out the hack to make it work. Just needed the, uh, just need a little bit of perseverance, a uh, Phillips screwdriver, flat screwdriver, some electrical tape, and the sword of exact zero. So there's some other videos that are popping up around here. Please go ahead and check those out. If you like this video, please go ahead and uh, there's, you can subscribe to the channel. You can There's a bell icon and you can uh, like the video and leave a comment if you like. And thanks for watching.